Hello, everyone. Woof, woof. Honestly, I don't know how to feel anymore. Everything feels confusing right now. It all started when we saved the shiny penguin. Iroha was happy, of course. But me, I didn't get to use the magical wand. It seemed so wonderful. I wanted to try it. I needed to try it. But why didn't I get to use it? Iroha just doesn't understand how I feel. She got to use the wand. But, well, I forgave her. After all, she knows exactly how to pet me just right. And she gives me treats. <laughs> But sometimes, I forget that I have to be careful not to talk in front of her mom. Speaking of her mom, she had a visitor, Shoko, a little dog who came in for her shots. Shoko was nervous, but Iroha quickly calmed her with her gentle pets. Hey, Iroha, pet me too! Because I barked a little too loudly, I ended up being punished. I had to stay at home, alone. Once again, I felt like no one understood me. Later that night, I decided to tell Iroha how I felt. I told her I wanted to do something special for her, to feel useful. She threw a ball, and I ran to fetch it. See? Isn't that wonderful? But wait, that's not what I meant. Again, Iroha didn't understand me, and we went to bed without resolving anything. The next morning, it was time for my wonderful walk. But, but, my favorite leash was gone. How could this happen? Why? Iroha explained that my leash had been transformed into the magical wand. Okay, sure, but what about my leash? How are we going to go on our walks now? Iroha said she'd find me a new leash, but I didn't want a new leash. I wanted my leash. Why doesn't Iroha ever understand anything? I was upset, and I didn't want to talk to Iroha. While she went to tell Satoru about our argument, I tried to distract myself by playing with Daifuku. Then, suddenly, I felt a dark presence. A monster had appeared. Iroha and I rushed to check it out and came face to face with a gigantic beast. It was so impressive, but we had powers too. Satoru said that the monster was likely a lion. Lion? I had never heard of such a thing. But then, when it roared, I felt something strange. I froze. I couldn't move. I was terrified. Iroha tried to reassure me and went to face the monster alone. Just watching her, I was shaking. But I wanted to help Iroha, so I tried using the magical wand again. That's when the lion turned toward me and charged. I couldn't do anything. Iroha ran to protect me, but we were both struck by the lion's powerful paw. Our magic disappeared. Leaving us defenseless. Then, something strange happened. The lion suddenly stopped and walked away. Afterward, I tried to tell Iroha that I was only trying to help, but she scolded me again. The lion had left a trail of destruction, and Satoru did his best to calm Iroha down. As for me, I didn't know what else to say. That night, I couldn't sleep. That's when it hit me. I put Iroha in danger. I keep causing trouble. I'm useless. Nothing will ever be wonderful if I stay. So, Iroha, it's time for me to leave. Goodbye. Woof.